Hello everyone. Apologies for the poor play in the last episode, but I finally uh, bit my humility and uh, realized I needed some help to make it through here with the weaponry I had and with the uh, level that we're at at the game. So I thought instead of trying to go a different way for a long time and trying not to make any progress, I figured we'd uh, just, I just hired some help and we just had two phantoms uh, help me clear the area as best we could without uh, with their help. So I got 60,000 souls. Uh, this isn't in addition to what we had before. Uh, pardon me, this is in addition to what we had before. We already I already spent my souls, uh, you know, that we had made last episode. And this is all from this, this off-stream episode that, we, that I just did. Um, the Ruined Sentinels, I think we killed three or four of them. And I got a drop of the Ruined Sentinel armor, even. Uh, let's try that on, just to, just to see what it looks like. Um, nothing special, to be honest, for stats, but it looks uh, pretty cool. Yeah, it's all right, I guess. Uh, kind of a lighter armor, I think, actually. Let me just check the weight. Oh, no, I guess not. Well, I won't be putting it on then. Uh, the great uh, captain armor. We got two now. Um, it was 15 pounds, uh, but it's very good fire resistance, so might be something we'll put on later. The warrior lion warrior cape uh, made for mages. I don't know. Looks pretty poor and everything except for the magic stuff. Uh, so yeah, we're we're probably gonna stick with what we got here. Uh, the item the item find is is doing really well. Like that's just the point, right? So um, we got lots of good drops. We got that slab last playthrough. I guess I guess we you know I kind of considered it a failure last run, but we got the uh, we got a slab. I mean you can't complain about that really. When you get a slab and you got your soul still, uh, I got I I still didn't go back and and fix my ring, so I should have done that. In fact, I may... No, I won't still do that, because everything will reset in here. Everything is done except for the last sentinel. So if I can actually make it by one last sentinel, am I going to actually put my armor on for this? Um, no, I really want the drop that they give me if they're going to give me a drop. So uh, I got no flame swath or poison mist left. I got my, my weapons, whatever I want to have for a weapon. And that's it. Maybe some poison arrows or poison knives, but no poison knives, poison arrows. We still got lots of though, 58 or so. So maybe I'll try to do some poisoning with the last guy here. There's nothing left in here except for this one last sentinel. I got a soldier's sword or something out of that back room there. Um, of course, the Mastodon's sword was out of this one, and then some soul or something was out of that one. So this final room has a sentinel in it. I can't. I haven't checked it out yet because there's a sentinel in there. It was blocked out for the PvP or for the co-op. I mean, so we couldn't go in there. So one left. Can I lock on? No. Oh. Oh, he fell down. Well, I'm not so sure I'm upset about that. Uh, can I... The only thing is, is I would like to be able to... cheese him from above if I could. Is that too much to ask? Looks like it is. I can't get a hold of him down there. There he is! Okay, now don't get out of my sights. It's cheese time, please. You can swing at me all you want. You're not getting me from up here. The only problem is, is the lock on is coming off. What are the chances that's the key we need down there? I don't know what I do if I don't know what I'll do if it isn't, because I I've searched this whole level a couple of times over now. I don't want to fall down there and lose all my health. 
to die with 60,000 souls and no rings with you blocking my way to the whatever we're doing here so just be a good sentinel and eat your poison there you go I mean, even if I have to jump down there I'd rather do it with you at half health. Oh, I thought I had him there. I can see you. I'm trying to click on. Come on. Lock on. Ah! Boy, could that, I don't know if that's more could be more annoying. Ah. Ah. No, I got some patience for this guys. I do not want to lose this opportunity to to get this guy dead once and for all and this room done with. Oh, for gotta be kidding me. Is that hard to allow somebody to lock on to a to an enemy? Tiptoeing in the corner. What kind of AI is that? Really that smart that it knows I'm trying to get it? I don't think so. Ah, oh, finally. To make sure. Take as many shots as I can. I don't care if it's going to run out or not. I'm going to kill it. Straight up. Lightning arrow. Okay. The only other thing nicer would be if there was a drop, but I really don't don't care. Um. Brom armor. Finally, we see the uh, armor that's uh, on the cover of the game. Uh, rough or secret? Great. Yeah. Well, I wanted I wanted the, not the Farom armor, but that key, embedded key. Okay. Well, we got a bonfire. Not resting. No way. Got how many health? I got tons of health left. I don't I'm not resting. I got no uses. Oh, this guy. Young undead. Don't let this 
We meet a second time. Perhaps you will yet traverse the dark. Young undead, if you truly seek the dark, then we will surely meet again. This is a good guy for our uh, mage character. Seems like he's some kind of dark hex covenant master or something. May we meet again? Well, obviously you don't get anything for meeting twice. May we? Because that's it for him already here. Seems. Now what's this? That seems like I'm going to get teleported out of here without collecting my embedded key. Oh boy. And the only way to get out of here is with a homeward bone? For goodness sake. Pressing X, nothing happens. I don't want to make a rash move and kill him or something by mistake. Oh, the bonfire. Well, yeah, the bonfire is how you get out, but I was kind of hoping for the embedded key. Uh, Not going to happen, I guess. At least not here. He's gone. That was quick. There's another ruin up, ruined sentinel up there. To farm, if we would like. <laughs> no thanks. All right. Um, unfortunately, I've done as but as good as I can on this level, I think, and uh, couldn't find the embedded key. Maybe it's somewhere else. Uh, we got King's Passage to figure a way to get through now. When I was human earlier, guys, I noticed that King's Passage tons of summon signs. So it seems like there's going to be you know people summoning to try to get through that that section. Um, I'm not so sure. I'm above that myself. I'd sure like to try it without doing that first, though. It's like we tried this area. We tried it extensively before we summoned help. It just wasn't working out. So, um, yeah, uh, King's Passage is the next on our list, I guess, in this in this stream. We do have uh, the rot, the uh, guttered, and we do have the lost sinner. But I think the lost sinner is actually the uh, last stage in that in that stream of Lost Bastille there and uh, the gargoyles that's that's it I mean that 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 ends a whole a whole whole stream uh, we've got the iron keep one already finished and then the uh, spider was probably another one so we might actually be able to get four four souls like this lady wants right like what does she want is that here, to see light, however faint. Yeah, well, that that doesn't hurt. Yeah, we found an Estus flask. It's not the end of the world either. And uh, and maybe some bone dust too, didn't we? Three bonfire ascetics. Nice. Okay. Uh, I'm not sure I want the poison mist right now. Yeah, take a lot to get hexes uh, available to us. Uh, we can't even seem to... Well, we could get that ring from Alicia. Let's get the ring now. Now that we got a whole ton of souls, let's go get the ring from from Alicia. 
and it raises your faith. So what we could maybe do is, I mean, it's worth this. I don't know. It won't be won't be worth thirty thousand souls to have it fail. But if we take that ring, go see that uh, hex guy upstairs, then maybe we can use some spices to be able to get a hex or two. Now she becomes hostile at some point, I think. But just speak up. Glad it's not yet. Um. We'll buy this ring before she gets hostile. That's anyway, even if we didn't want to use it. We got uh, as much as we can handle, I think, with all the rest of this stuff. Um. Yeah, we already hold one of these anyway, so. Um. May the power of miracles be with you. Offer your souls to the God. What I'm hearing is that she's a tough, uh, tough boss. Uh, so I'm wondering if, uh... Killing her before she becomes hostile would be easier. I don't, I don't know. Uh... Okay, so we got that taken care of. We can level up a bit more. Yeah, it doesn't really tell us exactly what to do, but... Um, finally, we might be able to get some... somewhere with our endurance and our... I even wouldn't mind the vitality a little bit better. Adaptability is pretty high as it is. I noticed that Lobos Jr. didn't take any, any adaptability when he did his speedrun, you know, at least the preliminary stages. So I'm not so sure I want to either. It does give you a whole bunch of different kind of resistances. Uh, and because we did so high as it was, our endurance leveling up gives us lots of poise. But we don't get any more uh, for going over our adaptability. So these two sort of are married to each other for poise. So if you raise adaptability up, then you can raise your endurance up or vice versa. And as long as they're equal, it, it will raise up to the, from, the, from the lowest one to the higher one the poise, but it won't um, if I just start going hard in either of the two right now and not raise the other one. Um, no, that gives you higher po poison BNS and bleed BNS. Raising your dex. Uh, eventually I'd like to two-hand uh, more complex weapons though, so the strength and the dex may some be some things we need to increase. Vigor may be something we need to increase as well. The you always use more health, especially if you're getting into PvP battles and things like that. Um, right now, I think the endurance makes the most sense for our character. Um, get two levels here, likely. Whoops, what am I doing? Oh, okay, I know what I'm doing. Two levels of endurance. Or we can get a 38 dex. There was a reason why I wanted 38 dex. I think it was for one of my weapons. Um. Yeah. Let's, let's try to get that up a little bit higher. So we can cover. cover a higher uh, two dual wielding effort there. Okay, we got four grand left. Probably wise to go pay uh, Gavlan a visit and get more poison arrows. I know we really ravaged our supply of poison darts, that's for sure. So, back to Gavlan. Where is he? Doors of Pharaohs. We have a boss there. We got a boss at the spider. We got the chariot boss, we got the lost center boss, we got the gargoyles boss, There's lots of bosses to do. That Ornifex lady will sell us uh, boss soul weapons if we clear a few of these off. So maybe that's what we'll do next, just for fun, since we've already made it as far as we can go. I think that King's Passage is probably going to be hard to make it through, so if we upgrade a little bit before there, it wouldn't hurt.
This guy always follows me to Gavlin anyway, so I kill him before we get there. Oh, the Gurm Great Shield. I think we have one already, but an old mundane stone. That's awesome. And a magic stone. No, this item this item discovery stuff probably isn't going to come off, guys. <laughs> Even though I love my other armor. Do we have anything to sell them right now? Probably not. Uh, there's lots of strength weapons I probably will never use. Lots of these axes I'll probably never use. But... You never know when you can respec your character, so... Only the most useless ones will get recycled. And you can dual wield, uh... Gurm shields now, or silverback shields, so... No sense in selling too much of anything, actually. And... Just getting some more of these awesome... Darts. Thirteen is all we got for... Four grand? Okay. Better than nothing. How many how many arrows do we got left? Thirty-four only. Not allowed to buy two. Okay. Many deals, many thanks. you're okay from being invaded by the way if you're in this bonfire room but once you step into there then you're fair game um okay what to do then um we could pay a return visit to the gutter i mean This weapon would help quite a bit, actually, going through the gutter. Um, I don't know what's at the end of the gutter, though. I don't know what kind of boss there is. I'm thinking it's a, a major boss soul, but I'm not sure. So, uh, or we could go back th over bosses we've we've just missed. So maybe we'll try. Uh, should we try chariot boss? We are human. I don't want to. I don't necessarily want to just. Oh yeah, we gotta go back and. Uh, oh, we can't. We can't replenish our rings right now because we just spent all our souls. Uh, but the good news is, is we have tons of consumables, consumable souls. So that's what we'll get rid of to to get our uh, our rings back. It's gonna cost me close to ten grand. Uh, to to replenish our ring supply. That was just that that was the pathetic part of last stream, guys. Was blowing away all my rings and the stupid death. Um. Five thousand. Ten thousand. Holy jeez. Didn't realize it was gonna be that much. I think we also picked up another fire seed though, so maybe we can go pay her a visit up here. And that'll take care of fifteen thousand souls, actually, with all our rings plus this potential upgrade here. Yeah, we had an extra fire seed, so we're now plus seven. 270, wow, this is this is a really good f flame. Uh, I I think we might have got it in the in the I'm in the gutter. So come and see me when you're uh, I can't remember where we got it exactly. I know the other one probably dropped uh, somewhere in uh, the uh, Huntsman's Cops. But, oh yeah, rings.
Oh yeah, we still got the um, smelter demon too. Um. Yeah, twelve thousand worth of uh, repairs to be done actually. I'll be around. need that much but what it's that embedded key hmm I mean, if we free that guy, maybe he's a good vendor or something. That's what I was hoping, right? You free that um, guy up in the tower. Well, we've been hemming and hawing on this stuff long enough, although I didn't really like that weapon the last time we tried it. Uh, oh yeah, the rapier. I can maybe dual wield the rapier now. Is that... Let's try it out. I'll be around. And we can upgrade another rapier. Well, it doesn't have to be the rapier. It can be the Uchigatana, actually. That would be fun. Uh, so let's get rid of this. And we'll put on the right hand weapon rapier. Rickard's rapier. And this weapon. Uchigatana, maybe? Whoops. Okay. Nice. <laughs> nice. There we go. Now we can dual wield with these two. Now watch this L. Both at the same time. Uh, I'm going to need a lot of more strength though if I want to get the Berserker involved in all of this. Um, unfortunately. And we do have a Black Steel Katana as well. Look at that. Two quick L1s, one, two, and you got four sword hits, so that's that's pretty pretty good. And the rapier starts doing a slide, you know, a slide slash like the uh, becomes an Uchigatan. I wonder if it would still do the same awesome damage that it does straight ahead, right? And you, I mean, this is this is this is potentially game breaking. Need more, we need more stamina, that's true, but... One, two, three, four, five... Still got five hits, but the first one's gonna be way much more, way, way more damaging than that first... swipe that we got with the, uh, Rickard's Raper normally. Still got this one if we want. We got a down slash of the Uchigatana. We got that poke if we want. We also got this one now. The uh, Uchigadana slash, but yeah, unfortunately for our secondary, we're gonna need even more uh, strength to do this one, and even more to do the Black Steel Katana, or Berserker. Pardon me. Yeah, so Black Steel's there, 14. So we're gonna need 21 strength to do a dual wield with that one. This one will need even more. Um, 
27 strength. So it's, if we want to do Berserker, we're pretty much a quality build. Which wouldn't kill me. I mean, I wouldn't mind being a quality build. We could do some different strength weapons then. Probably kick butt with the uh, great sword of cut here and there, or the, some of the heavier weapons. Our, our, uh, it wouldn't hurt our, our Black Knight Halberd's reading, I'm sure. Um, I haven't tried this one yet. Oh yeah, it's the, they were using on me in that. Pretty heavy weapon. Um, 26. Yeah. Alright. Pretty much it for that. Let's, let's roll with the, let's... Let's throw the Uchi in there. How much is the Uchi? It's pretty heavy, though. That's the only problem with the Uchi. But now we can throw anything that we can dual wield in there. So we can throw the bleed uh, causing falchion in there. Which, to be honest, I think I actually like better than the scimitar. Just, be just because of that. It's got bleed. Um, and we could do a rapier, too. Um dual wield rapiers, but um, well, that's actually kind of cool too though, right? Two. One. Two. Three. You only get three hits, but it potentially six hits worth of damage when before we were doing five, so it's interesting. One. Two. Three. Uh, now that just separates it, so you can do each each one off a roll. Oh no, L2 is just a nice big stab. Power stab. Which I'm not sure is worth it, if, depending on how much... Oh, it doesn't take off hardly any stamina though, why not? This one does. But this, but this L, L2 doesn't take off much stamina. It's just... Oh, it's so slow moving though, I guess. It's this downfall, but still... Your stamina recovers with it. So yeah, maybe it'd be worth it with our 3900 to get the rapier going. I don't think there's any other kinds of rapiers we have, is there? We got two rapiers, we got an S stock. Damage is 105 there, 110 for the rapier. Meal breaker, yeah, not really happening. You got this thing. Well, this thing takes Twinkling Titanite, unfortunately, but something we can dual wield? I don't know. Looks like it. Yeah, it looks like it. Haha. <laughs> nice. That's interesting. All right, well, we had some fun with that. Um, how much weight am I at here? Um, Seventy-one percent, but oh, twenty percent only. Still, with all that, all that stuff. That's about where we're where we want to be. If we put on something else like the Uchi Gatana though that, that that's a little bit weedier falchion oh it does do the weird thing now even though we got the rapier on there basically it does the move set of the L but L one um, This is strange because I put the uh, Uchi Katana on and it seemed to do a side swipe like the Uchi would. Oh no, that's right. Uh, that's why. Um, well, what if we put the Rapier in the left hand and the Uchi in the right? I mean, uh, yeah, so here would be the Rapier. Yeah, 
This would be the Uchi. Not sure if we have enough of black steel katana yet, do we? Oh, maybe we... No, no, we don't. Not for strength. So yeah, the Uchi. Yeah, works. Same way. So even no matter what you do with the rapier, you're gonna get... If you want to poke with the rapier, you have to do it out of a roll. And the right hand slash... That's a good poke too, right? Poke. But I can't poke to the left. I can. Oh, I can come down like that. Interesting. No, the, the most deadly thing I think we got is the two, is that thing right there. Two quick L1s. One and two, one. Well, give yourself enough stamina. One, two, and then a third, you know, a third one. If you got full stamina, you can get a third hit in there. Just slash with that first, or slash with this first. And then follow it up with a one, two, three. One, two, three. Nice. Now let's roll with it for a while, see what happens. Um, who wants to eat it? Uh, maybe the spider boss? What do you think? Spider boss? Put on some armor? Put on a ring? Try the spider boss, why not? Uh, so our ring would be... Oh, we don't need that ring anymore that ring. So we got our humanity back if we die on the boss, and this one there. We don't really need to break, you know, poise of the boss. We're not going to do that anyway, so that stone ring isn't going on here. I like my, I like my ring set up, and I just don't like my armor set up. Although we will have to get there to the boss door, so leave it on until we get to the boss door. getting some really good drops lately because of this, so. Well now where's our... Oh, we got two prisoner's gloves, that's one. Okay. Let's try that, let's try the spider boss. Um, still didn't get rid of all our souls here though, so... Gavlin. Yeah, we'll try, we'll get our few more poison knives from Gavlin. I don't know if... Yeah, spiders? Yeah, spiders were poisoned before. <laughs> That seemed to take off a lot of a lot of health. I don't want to fight this guy in the water, really, but not at all, actually.
Oh, he's coming up here, so... Ah! Almost got three hits there that time. L1. Spider boss. What are the chances the boss is a big spider after all the spiders we incurred in that level there? Yeah, unfortunately we can't get right to the boss door, can we? We have to we have to walk a little while through the cell door. Um we can get pretty close, right? I think that chapel threshold or lower brightstone. One of the two. I think this one's probably better. Now we never did figure out that uh, zip line business, but I think what the problem was is that actually you can get to the top zip line from the bonfire room. That might have been our problem. In fact, I'd like to check that out just briefly. Okay, well, no, we can't. No, maybe I don't think we can actually, but what? Whatever, I mean, like. Yeah, no, that top zip line is lower than here, right? So maybe we can just get out there from the. Uh, from this bonfire room, and we just didn't recognize that before. Yeah, I bet you that's it. Here we were worrying about this area all the whole time. And really all we had to do was just walk out here and this is where we can use the zip line, so. Yeah. There's no other area here is what I'm trying to say, guys. We're We're all good there. Now there is a shortcut, remember? There was a shortcut from the lower bonfire, actually. Um Yeah. We'll go to the lower bonfire, we got a shortcut. one-shot these things now. And... 
And, uh, okay, so this is the bonfire. That's those things. Uh, I think it's this way. One shot. Nice. So I do like the opposite configuration better, don't I? Because, yeah, I do. Because I want to be able to stab with the records still. still stab with the records now, but if we press L1, we still get the double slash. But, uh, is this really what I want here? Where am I? Oh, for goodness sake. Do we know where I am? That's not what I really want here. Way to go? I think it is, unfortunately. Oh, jeez. Where's our shortcut? Or is it from the... I don't think it's from the Ornifex room. Yeah, I do have to walk outside here. Definitely not yet. I started using my Estus up here. Oh, use it up again there anyway. Try that again. Well, I know I can get there from the other way anyway, so maybe I'll just do the other way. Oh, for goodness sake! Too great size now. These guys. Um... Oh, here we go. Goodness sake! This is this lady. Is that where I want to be? Be to get to the shortcut? Yes, it is. Okay. There's the shortcut. 
do have to run through a lot of crap here, though, don't I? Jeez. Well, am I going to run through, or am I going to try to peck them off one at a time here? That's deadly. L1 and then uh, R1 with the Rickards. If you lock on. Oh, jeez. I kind of like all my Estus for the boss fight. This controller on this thing, I don't t trust it at all. Drop in here. We are human, so if there's any summon signs, we hope that we could see them. Although they do seem to be pretty well hidden. Yeah, I'm just going to check briefly here. I'm pretty sure there is a summon sign here for us. Uh, so, bear with me a second. It's dark in here, but I got this hat that has a light on it. Be able to see my guide in the dark. And this is the last boss on this route, so NPC overview. Brightstone. Ash and Night Boyd summon for boss number two. Ash and Knight Boyd. Who's that? Who dat? Ash and Knight Boyd. There we go. Battle comrades. Ash and Night Void. Soul sign can be found behind one of the pillars opposite the Duke's Dear Frasia boss room entrance. No special conditions. Excellent. There's always a chance that you don't want to have help because it makes it too easy, but I, something tells me that this giant spider isn't going to be that easy, so. Um. I don't think I have much of a problem with that. Where am I going? can't get up over there. Unless I go here first. That's a real thin, thin ledge. Is this where I came from? No, this is a different ledge. Can't get down. Where can you get down? Oh, I guess I must have dropped down to there before. Somebody signed there. Oh, gee, that was just about death. There's spiders in here ready to eat me. I like to do it from solid ground. Already down to seven Estus. Unbelievable. I like 
dual wielding. A second Rickard's Rapier. Unbelievably awesome. I don't even know it was possible to get that on another Mastodon Greatsword, but two Rickard's Rapiers? you got to be kidding me. That's going to be, well, I don't know if it's any better than having the Stinger. And I can maybe make one poison, though. Or something like that. Well, anyway, that's cool. I like, I like a second Rickard's Rapier. Um, that's going up. I want to go down. Yeah, we're at the bottom. Actually, at the bottom here now. It looks like. Okay, there's all sorts of summon signs here. But which ones are NPC? Vij. No, I won't be looking at that when I got spiders all over me. Down to six, Estus. Goodness sake. Whatever. I'm going to be... I should have been using my gems right from the start. Use gems in the boss fight. They go so slow, though. Well, I forgot an item over here, it looks like. Corrosive urns times five. Okay, well, where's our summon sign? There it is. That must be it. Message here. Ash and Night Void. I mean, we'll probably increase our health by having him with us, but we have a cool weapon or armor to give us or something at the end of it, so. Um, let's try her out. Um, put the SS on. We got Flame Swath ready to go, maybe. Oh, yeah. First, we're going to put on our armor. I like the ring set up, but our armor is coming. Uh, I don't know about bows. Uh, one pound. I guess we can deal with one pound. Uh, bleed. Fire bombs. Certainly not that. I wouldn't mind having poison darts on there. my poison darts and I'm gonna put some kind of I'm gonna put a poison buff or some kind of buff on to on the on the belt so that we can use that during the boss fight okay seems like a lot on the belt already but maybe we'll take the fire bombs off and put the buff on I've got nine of them nine or fire what spiders are most uh, likely to die to? Uh, magic spiders, I don't know. I'll well, we'll try this. We get lots of DPS with these weapons, so... And then the armor. Okay. Uh, oh, well, we can't use. Oh, yeah, we can use the rotten pine resin. Can't we? Or do you need some kind of catalyst or something? No, you just need a right hand weapon, that's all. So. Ready to go. Lots of extra spiders, I'm sure, yeah. Well, I got the flame swath ready to go for those.
That didn't do nothing. Oh, that's cheap! Really cheap, isn't it? Seems like one they got got two heads, and one head was beaming. So I I threw the flame on the other head, but it didn't seem to do anything. But I guess I was already dead by that time. I don't know. Seems like a long way to to run back to get back to a boss that's gonna one shot me and keep stacking up my cost with uh, I wasn't duels oh I wasn't dueling there anyway um, well we got a couple rings left so a couple rings left to learn this boss Um, the item find, is it worth it? No, because I'm going to be running as fast as I can to get there now. Yeah, the rings, I don't care about the uh, souls, obviously, I just care about the humanity so that I can rehire my my help. How come he didn't one-shot? That's the first time they haven't one-shot with my setup like this. Obviously this isn't the the way to go. Well, it's too late now. I guess I'm going this way. Lots of deaths on this one. Now oh, there's some spiders coming. Lots, mind you. Back to one shotting, thankfully. about there. Didn't, didn't do the one shot. Just about died because it didn't do the one shot by a hair. You gotta be kidding me. Okay. Nine Estus is better than last time. We only had seven. Speak too soon on this guy if I don't kill him. I 
I didn't see him do much of anything, be helping us anyway, but probably just means extra extra health for the boss. Oh, he killed another spider, did he? You gotta be kidding me! How are you supposed to get away from it? There's a hole here too to fall into. That's not nice. I'm starting not to like this, uh, the idea of doing this boss. <laughs> Holy jeez, it looks almost a, looks like a tough one. Smelter Demon almost, soloing Smelter Demon with Lucatil seems like almost easier prospect than this. Ah oh boy, well I got one more ring. It's gonna cost 6,000 to fix this one. But I can get all kinds of souls off stream, so you guys are watching. Whoops. Guy. I thought that was another spider. Okay. No, it still got me somehow. I'm going to fall off of this thing with this controller, let me tell you. No, I do not want to lock on to the other spiders! They're not coming up here, are they? Oh, I'd like to waste a flame swath on them right now. forget. Same thing every time. whole bunch of spiders here, but I'm going to make a break for that opposite thing there. Or am I? Yeah, there it is. Well, that's what I wanted anyway. I, I didn't want to heal twice. One heal. See, see with S is fast plus three, let's see if it gets all the way up there. No, it won't. Oh, right, 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 right. I'm supposed to use these gems up anyway. We got more guys coming all the way up here. Well, it makes sense because we're already down at the bottom. 
Well, if this guy's any use at all, maybe he'll be helping clean out these uh, spiders for the boss fight. It seems okay clearing out spiders. a little bit of health. Okay. Try her again. I don't know how to get rid of that laser beam, I'll tell you that much. Touch him. Didn't even hurt him a bit. Didn't even hurt him a bit. You haven't got any health off this boss yet. Zero. That hurt. Big hole here. Concentrate on the on the boss now, I guess. Oh, I got one little wee hit in. Wow, that's great. My help's almost dead. I got one little hit. Little wee hit in. Ouch. He's just about dead. Now he is dead. Yeah, it's stone. Stone armor there. I meant to press the... I meant to press the throwing knife! Yeah, one shot, just about. Might as well have been. Well, we got down... got it down to half with help. But, uh... Yeah, not getting the flame swath in at the right time sure hurts there. Well, we know about this boss now, fellas. <laughs> it doesn't look too easy, to be honest. Although it, no, it's not terrible, it's just going to take a long time, which I don't think think it's really going to be that pleasant, but it might be, might be doable with patience. Um, a lot more flame, sw flame, flame swath hitting in the face would be better. Uh, we got like, souls to redo our rings, I guess. We got no rings left, so that'll probably do it for this episode. 
bye for now, and hopefully we'll have our rings replenished when we get back.